So let me tell you, first of all, um, the day I got the call from, from Joe Biden, it was actually a Zoom call, um, asking me to serve with him on this ticket was probably one of the most memorable, day, memorable days of my life. Um, I, you know, I thought about my mother, who came to the United States at the age of 19, um, gave birth to me at the age of 25 at Kaiser Hospital in Oakland, California. And um, the thought that I'd be sitting here right now, um, I know would make her proud, and she must be looking down on this. Um, you know, Joe and I were raised in a very similar way. We were raised with values that are about hard work, about the value and the dignity of public service, and about the importance of fighting for the dignity of all people. And I think Joe asked me to serve with him because, you know, I have a career that included being elected the first woman district attorney of San Francisco, where I created models of innovation for, for law enforcement in terms of reform of the criminal justice system. I was elected um, the first uh, woman of color and black woman to be elected attorney general of the state of California, where I ran the second largest department of justice in the United States, second only to the United States Department of Justice. And there I took on everything from transnational criminal organizations to the big banks that were taking advantage of homeowners to for-profit colleges that were taking advantage of veterans. And then, of course, now I serve in the United States Senate as only the second black woman ever elected to the United States Senate. I serve on the Senate Intelligence Committee where I've been in regular receipt of classified information about threats to our nation and hotspots around the world. I've traveled the world. I've met with our soldiers in, our, in war zones. And I think Joe has asked me to serve with him because he knows that we share we share a purpose which is about lifting up the American people. And after the four years that we have seen of Donald Trump unifying our country around our common values and principles. Thank you.